Mother's Day is just a couple weeks away and flowers are always a good gift. But today, pastry chef Alicia Wolding from Doe is back in the kitchen with a twist on your usual flower bouquet. I see where we're going. I see where we're going. Yes. I see some flowers on top of a cupcake. Flowers. But I gotta say, they always look so intimidating. They look wonderful they for look Mother's Day. But I'm here to show you. It's a little bit easier than it looks. So okay. if you're wanting to tackle it at home, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. I love that. I love yes. when you come in and attempt to make it easy for me. <laughs> and I gotta say, I usually walk away feeling like, okay, not too I difficult. I can do this, right? Practice makes perfect. So try it at home. Maybe you'll be a rock star. Uh, well, first, is... I think we need to talk about what are we making this on. Yes. So this is a Florida strawberry cupcake. We make this oh. with our Florida strawberries. So we bake it right into the cake. And so it tastes amazingly fresh and delicious. Perfect for Mother's Day, fresh and springy. Any uh, any cupcake tips while baking? Cupcake tips? I like to bake my cupcakes at a 275 degree oven, actually, which is very surprising. Most people do it at 350, So just 375. have to go longer? But it goes longer at 275, and that's how they don't get as dark and they stay more moist. Look at that. Yes. Again, your tips are so like tangible. Oh, I love so that. Now the decorating, we'll see if this one's tangible. This, what are we doing? I, I believe. All right, so this is how a traditional rose is piped. So I'm going to show you how it's different from the roses that I'm going to show you how to do later rose. on. Traditional. So this is a rose nail and this is a rose tip. Looks like a giant tack. Yes. So I'm going to build up my base here. I'm going to keep oh, piping little circles. And I promise you, eventually, this will look like a flower. <laughs> so, Which we do want to point out, too. We're bringing up the history in pastry and the history of Alicia. You also went uh, to pastry school, so we do need to yes. bring that back. That it's, uh, you do know the, the new techniques as well as the ones. Yeah, I mean, I like to always freshen old things up with a little modern twist. So this is an old classical technique. I, I can't tell you how many years this has been going on, but it's a famous buttercream piped rose. I'm sure you've seen it on a birthday cake at least once or twice in your life. And this is how you make it. Oh, wow. You just keep piping around the rose. Again, she makes it look easy. <laughs> I guarantee mine would not look like this at all. It takes, it takes a lot of practice. I've thankfully been doing this for about 10 years now. <laughs> so there's our rose and we can Which take it. Which looks fabulous. And uh, we'll see if I am skilled enough to get it on top of this cupcake. That's always like the Harder I was part. Like, I like how you should have the hardest part. I... This is the tricky part. So oh. you get it off of the rose nail under the rose, I mean, under the cupcake. Wow. And there you have it. So this is why these tips that I'm going to show you are so amazing. They are Russian tips. Okay. And they are made to do all the work for you. So it's going to give it this look, a little less height, but it's going to look like a rose. So <laughs> actually, I've already made some bags for you, but I'm going to show you. Thank an goodness, even I couldn't have even done that part. Trick later on how to fill the bag, but you can see how this has this look to it. Yep. So you if you want to, too, it's got a, it's got a nice edge there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that bad boy. It looks like Play-Doh, right? Like we're playing with like uh, little Play-Doh you know mode. It does take you yes. back a little bit to those Play-Doh days. Okay. So what, what's the secret here? Squeeze it from right here and you're going to squeeze it right under the cupcake. Does it matter where? Uh, I mean. Not really, it's gonna look like a bouquet, so however you wanna. Wow, that was really good for your first time. So I paid her that to say is... that. Don't let her, don't let her we bully practiced you. this before. No. Uh. So you can take these tips, and each one of them makes a little bit different of a design. So that one you have oh, this yeah. kind of look. And then you can kind of go around the cupcake and dress it up with flowers, any was, colors. And I'll say, we gotta get some green in there, some don't green, we? you gotta get some leaf. So I have cut my bag into a little V shape going outward and I'm gonna oh. hold it flat. The second one, not so good. It was beginner's luck. You jinxed luck. yourself. <laughs> so I'm gonna pipe some leaves around it hey. and we'll eventually have a bouquet of flowers here. Okay, in, in all honesty, I mean, seriously, I, I'm able to do this, which is, it's just saying right? a lot. That's, what, that's exactly where I'm at with this is it's something that anyone can do at home. And so Maybe much you have better a story, than the flowers. Just runs where they don't come out quite as how you hey, wanted them, but I'm then digging after the third try, that's amazing. And I want to bring up too, I know in a lot of the things that you've brought from Joe in the past, you have fabulous colors. I mean, how can we not talk about the color of Aww. this right here, the yellow? <laughs> What color are some is our secrets specialty. in being able, to, some secrets that you're able to share and being able to get these wonderful colors so people can do this at home? Yes, wonderful colors. I use uh, concentrated gels. You can get them at bakery supply stores. They are not like the food color you'd get in a grocery store, which makes the pigment so bright and bold. That really helps. And I use a lot of it. Now, you do realize you're just pasting cellophane right now. Yes, I actually do believe, I do realize this. <laughs> now, what, what are we doing here? So this is a piece of saran wrap. 
And uh, I am making a two-tone rose next. So this is how I'm going to accomplish it. I'm a first, whaty, whaty, what? A two-toned rose. Two so if you can rose. see in the display, there is a rose that has uh, inside it is orange and the outside is pink. Oh, it's like an ombre. Yes. So I'm going to put the yellow on the inside here in a little stripe, make it nice and smooth. And then almost like a sushi roll, I roll it up. I'm just amazed at the <laughs> ideas that people think right? of. Right, who what comes, up with, comes up with <laughs> So I tightly wrap that, twist it off like a candy. And I'm going to cut off the edge. Look at this. Okay, well, we are getting, uh, <laughs> I'm like seriously just taken back. I kind of forgot that I had to be paying attention to time a little bit. <laughs> if you are short on time, be sure and go visit Alicia and all of the wonderful flowers, people at Doe. Yeah. There it comes. Or attempt to make your ombre flowers <laughs> on your own. Either way, Doe's a perfect place to celebrate Mother's Day. Alicia, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you for having me. Always a good time.